Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to show you how to replace a hard drive out of a notebook or a laptop. And it would be something like this one. And this is called a two and a half. Uh, most people nowadays, they rather change or upgrade to the SSD or NVE. And this is what I got. It's the two terabyte, as you can see from WD Blue. And uh, you could get it from any other manufacturer, but sometimes the company prefer you or the manufacturer to get the exact original one. Anyway, so this computer, it's called HP. Uh, let me just go a little bit further right here. And it's shown here, it's NVDV4. And it is the Beat Studio. The reason I am showing you the exact make and model, because there are some computers like this one, it may show similar but this is a little bit different. So the first thing you need to do, of course, I'm gonna just close the cover and just make sure you have something uh, smooth below so you don't scratch it. And the first thing you need to do, obviously, uh, you need to take out the battery. So this is the latch. You just push it this way. And once it clicks, you take the battery out, all right? Now with this thing here in the back of the uh, computer, uh, let me see if I can move this in better. Okay, here under this cover, this is where actually your Wi-Fi card, okay? Here it holds the memory, the hard drive, and um, that's what you really need to keep in mind. So the best thing is to do, which I realized it, that this thing, this cover, it slides this way toward me. So I would usually, I, I tried it differently, but from my experience, I mean, everyone else is different. You just need to push this thing that way. And w once you do it, and you, and you hold on, you hold it like that. Actually, I'm doing it with one hand. And you do it this way, you pull it. It's a little bit harder. And once you pull it, it comes off. Okay, you put this thing on the side. As I was saying earlier, uh, here, which I am actually showing you how to replace the hard drive, which basically right here. Sometimes you may find, let's say, a cover, like all black, and you may not see the hard drive. And here is the memory. The memory is really simple, which I'm not here to show you the, how to replace the memory, but if you do, you bring something like, say, a small screwdriver, like a flat screwdriver, which I have here. I have, um, as a matter of fact, I have my tools ready, to, just to show you quick quickly that's what's needed you see this thing right here uh, I'm sorry about that you got Philip you got flat and the best thing is to do if you take out the memory it would be just simply right here you see this one you push it back this one and that one and you take the memory out let me just show you how if in case you want to know how to do it which I'm gonna do it because sometimes I'd rather show you than just explain it to you. See how it pops up? And then you just pull it back this way. To put it back, obviously there's another dim memory underneath right here, and you do the same thing with those latches. You go right here to push it, to put it back, it's really simple. You put it the way you came, the way you took it out, and you push it down. Once it clicks, it means it's in. Okay, now let's go back to the hard drive. The hard drive, as I was telling you earlier, you may have to get a, a screw. You definitely, not you may, you definitely need to get a uh, Philip uh, screwdriver, which is like this one. See how it's tiny? And the reason is there are two small screws. I'm going to point them out to you right here. Here's one, and the other one is right here. So let me just take them out quickly, just to show you how it's done. Uh, all right. And if it's the, uh, oops, sorry about that. And if it's magnetic, which is really great, if it's magnetic, um, it would hold on to the screw, and it puts it right there. You see how I put it right there? You put it right there and then you do the same thing here today i happen to i don't have something to put my camera on like a stand 
so I can be able to do my work. But as you can see, I could even do it with one handed. Now, if you really happen to be a guy or a girl who's really not that uh, expert, uh, you may just take your time and uh, don't rush it. Don't break anything if it's does. Do not force it. Now, once once you take those two teeny tiny screws, which was one of them here and the other one here. Now there are two small. I want to show you this. You see these things? I took them out. They were holding. It's like a safety feature to hold the the uh, the uh, hard drive. And there's another one right here. There's only two of them. And you put them right by where the screws. And here they are. Now here's a trick with this hard drive, which seems to be a little bit different. Some other computers they may have. It depends on the model. They may have, let's say, also other screws you take out. With this particular one, the Beat Studio, the DV4, there isn't any more screws. The thing is with this one, you see these things right here? Those are like cushion or like rubber. It's very hard. So your best bet is to get a flat screwdriver like this one. Insert it right here, okay? And once you do that, you just pry a little bit on it like this. You see and don't break it because if you break it it's gonna break the connection right here just pull it up slowly like that and once it's being pulled watch me now you just wiggle it a little bit slowly and there it goes now this is where it gives it power as well as data see right here so the way we're going to do it is you're going to go like this with one handed. I mean, look, if I can do it with one handed, you can do it as well with both hands. You put it on the side and boom, that's about it. Now, to replace it, obviously, you got to take these things off. See? This rubber connection that protects the hard drive. Same thing we do on the other side. Here we go it's all done and then to do the same thing you do this you do backward the same procedure okay guys i hope that helps if there's any other questions or comments leave me in the section don't forget to put everything back the way it was and once you put the hard drive don't forget there is teeny tiny uh, let me see if i can show you you put them back the way it was and then the small teeny tiny screws that's it all right Take care and have a good day.